It will be a building that will meet them where they're at, which is a moment of crisis and often the darkest days of their lives. 80 women and children fleeing domestic violence in Calgary will now have a brand new building to call home. Unveiled Wednesday morning, the YW Crisis Shelter will provide a safe sanctuary for people in a vulnerable situation. Space matters, and particularly space that is inviting, space where they can have private time, they can have community time, and they can have outdoor time that's safe and secure for them and their children. This building will be filled immediately. The families who are waiting to move into this new building are currently living in a temporary shelter and will be moving in next week. But organizers know that this full shelter is only a drop in the bucket when it comes to addressing the problem of women and children having to flee violence. The demand is significantly more in our community and in, across Canada for that matter. Kerry says to provide a home for every person dealing with domestic violence, they'd need at least 10 times the capacity they already have. And as Calgary's population keeps growing, so does the demand. We have uh, a significant number of Indigenous women, about a third, a significant number of immigrant women, about a third, and the other third is, you know, from all other walks of life. People from all income strata experience domestic violence. The shelter is designed as a safe and secure environment, inclusive and accessible, fitted with an all abilities playground in the backyard, accessible rooms, and braille on door signs inside. Important to many who will live within these walls, pets are allowed. YW Calgary estimating that almost half of women who don't leave a violent situation do so because they don't want to leave their pets out of fear something may happen to them. Pets are important to children and they are part of the family and so when they do leave and seek recovery they need to be able to bring their four-legged friends with them. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.